FutureCast. Our summer preview continues today. The temperatures are once again well into the 80s. We hit 86 yesterday, and a few spots make it close to that again today. We're at about 83 right now in Providence, 82 Smithfield, 80 Coventry, 83 in Taunton and Plymouth, 79 in Gloucester right now. Much cooler along parts of our coastline where the temperatures range in most areas between 65 and 70 degrees. Newport to Westerly, New Bedford right now, the warmer at 78. It's all happening under dry skies, but higher humidity humidity than we've been seeing today. Tomorrow, both muggy days for us, especially considering that we are only in mid-May. Well, it's been warm enough to send people down to the coastline. One of the things we're going to be watching is in our local waters tomorrow. Another warm, humid day we may actually see some high surf due to the remnants of uh, what was Tropical Depression on a passing south and east of us. So I'm going to get to those details live. City Camp in Providence showing the blue skies, the sunshine, not only from our Hurricane Barrier Camp, higher view here at 83 degrees feels like 85 when you factor in the humidity one of the ways we measure the moisture in the atmosphere is with that dew point temperature and we're up almost to the uncomfortable category both today and Tuesday then big drop by Wednesday the dew points back into the 40s so not only are we going to be drier but we're going to be noticeably cooler by Wednesday as well back to more typical May temperatures here is the well, two systems I want to show you. One is a larger frontal system to our west. We've also got the remnants weakening here of Anna. This is going to pass to our south and east. We've got this cold front approaching from the west. And as these two get uh, linked up here, we'll have the potential for a few showers or a thunderstorm. First from Anna, we'll talk about the potential for a few showers tonight. Six to ten foot swells possible along our local waters by tomorrow morning and through the day Tuesday. And that could lead to a higher chance of dangerous rip currents. I'm not worried about that so much this afternoon. If you're headed down to the coastline, temperatures will hover around 70 Narragansett, 69 at 5 o'clock. We'll have to watch for some low clouds and some fog to roll back in. It'll be delayed in further inland spots, low and mid 80s this afternoon, warm, humid and breezy down to about 64 tonight with areas of fog returning. The potential for a scattered shower and then tomorrow's high it's again in the low and mid 80s morning fog and a passing shower and then another chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon. So this is 11 o'clock tonight. We start off the evening pretty quiet, but notice overnight how some scattered showers try to push through and we'll be dealing with maybe a few of those during the morning commute. Then we get a break back to hazy sunshine. Another chance, be it small, of an isolated shower or thunderstorm passing through with that cold front. The big change will come with the temperature. So we could really use the rainfall at this time, but it doesn't look widespread. Don't bank on these showers tonight or tomorrow to water your lawns or your gardens because they're going to be hit or miss. Down to 66 degrees for the high on Wednesday. In fact, not much of a change in the temperatures through the day from the upper 50s at 8 a.m. into the low and mid 60s during the afternoon. Uh, we're cool again on Thursday. Dry, bright days. Friday looks very nice at 71. We're looking at the potential for a few showers into the start of the weekend. Not a bad stretch of weather, it just wow, gets a little bit more typical of May.